guys I am just driving out of Ocean Grove to go take some photos of some birds it has been a week or so since I've had the chance to go and do this and today I don't know if you probably can't see outside here it's probably too bright um, but there's there's no clouds the Sun is out the sky is blue I've just finished my lessons for the day and it is 6:40, almost 6 50 p.m. And so I've got another hour and a half of sunlight, I reckon. Seems to be going down a bit after 8 p.m. these days. This is what happens during summer in our low parts of Australia. The sun sets at like eight to nine o'clock. So I'm gonna try and go out and get some nice shots of some seabirds, see how we go. Um, and as you may see, if I can turn this, <laughs> I've been driving around for the last week with a car full of crap. So I've been buying a heap of stuff with Kel on Facebook Marketplace. That's a really good place to check out. And gumtree.com.au, another good place where people can sell secondhand goods uh, online. So I've been using those websites to find a lot of stuff and I have also been going to the Salvation Army the Brotherhood of St. Lawrence and Sir Vince, Sir Vincent, St. Vincent de Paul's, which are all religious, Christian religious, um, I guess they're thrift stores, so like secondhand stores where people donate the furniture, the goods, the crockery, the cutlery, the clothes, the equipment, whatever it is, and the church can sell it and raise money that way. So. That has been a great way of getting a lot of good quality stuff that's secondhand, it's not brand new, but we've been able to save a bucket load of money in doing so, right? So like these white chairs that you see behind me, I got both of those for $10. The bed in here, there's a queen, a queen sized bed that we bought, and I think we got that for $150, but it's solid wood, looks really nice, we're gonna paint that. And then underneath that is a table that I bought, I think for $50, a big dining room table that I took the legs off. And I got that from, I think I got that from the Salvos for about 50 bucks. So if you guys are thinking of setting up a house in Australia, or whatever reason, you need furniture, you need clothes, you need cutlery, crockery, all the sorts of stuff, your kitchen, app, what are, they, what are they called? Um, appliances, I almost said applications. Appliances, any of that sort of stuff. Marketplace on Facebook is a good place to find cheap things. Um, Gumtree.com.au and then places like the Salvos, Vinnie's and St. Lawrence or the Brotherhood of St. Lawrence. These are great places to get cheap stuff. So we are moving in in, I think, what's today? The 29th today, six days. We're moving into the new house in six days and I think the people are moving out today but they have to clean the house, they have to do all of that stuff in order to get it ready for us. So they ask for a week after the um, current tenants of that house moved out to get it ready for us. I was a bit devastated though today as we, Kel and I were looking for pets, right? We really, really want to get some pets for the children, right? We want to have pets in the house when the children are born because we don't want to have children who have some kind of fear of animals. I'm obviously very animal oriented as a biologist. I love animals and I just want animals around. I like having cats and dogs. Always had cats and dogs in the house when I was growing up. My parents have two cats and a dog at the moment, a Labrador and just some stray cats that were adopted from the RSPCA on what that stands for but that is like where the stray dogs and cats in Australia or at least in Victoria they go to a place called the RSPCA five letters there I'm not I think it'll be like Royal Society of Pets and I don't know something like that RSPCA um, but yeah we wanted to get some cats I was thinking that'd be an easy thing to, to do you can adopt cats there tend to be quite a lot of cats that need homes Initially, Kel and I were thinking about buying a cat. 
we really really wanted a Bengal cat but they are like two thousand dollars new and new <laughs> as kittens and to be honest we just don't have the money to spend to justify spending on a cat especially not two thousand dollars it's a lot of money uh, not to mention all the bills because you have to get your cat you know uh, vaccinated de-sexed uh, everything else like flea checked all of that sort of stuff when you get it you have to buy all the food for the cat the kitty litter for the cat the toys for the cat so we were thinking all right we'll just adopt a cat from Geelong from the RSPCA or from some of the other welfare societies that have dogs and cats that need adoption so we looked up online and there were these three kittens that we found that were siblings from a, I think it was the Geelong Animal Rescue or something online so it's sort of like the RSPCA there's a few variants of that um, that setup where animals are taken care of um, by these organizations so we looked and we found these three sibling cats and I was thinking that's great because if we adopt more than one of them they know each other they're currently living with each other in the same place so they're not going to be a problem sometimes with cats and probably dogs as well when you get one cat that and a cat that's not known to it and you put these two together quite often there's drama there's issues there's fights the cats don't get along for you know weeks or even months sometimes I know when my um, parents got the new kitten the cat that they already had was not very fond of it wasn't very happy with the competition for food and affection in the house so that was what we were thinking and I filled out an adoption form to you know submit our information what we wanted the cats for um, that we could take care of them uh, I think we had to answer questions like where do we live uh, what's our uh, status like who's living in the house are we a couple blah 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 because these places want to know that the cats are going to a good place this may seem weird but in Australia we don't have that many if any stray animals running around right so Kel's from Brazil and she was always saying, where are the dogs? Like, in Brazil, you just have dogs in the street, you know, and they're not necessarily anyone's dogs. They're kind of just running around and people feed them and, and, you know, they have them around, but they don't belong to anyone. In Australia, it's not like that at all. If you, if there are stray dogs or cats, quite often people will see them, pick them up and turn them into the RSPCA or animal welfare shelters thinking that they're probably someone's pets and the animal welfare sh shelter will either find out from the microchip that's in the animal's neck the little computer chip who belongs or who the animal belongs to and they'll reunite the animal with its owner or if they find out that the animal doesn't have an owner quite often they will put it up for adoption in that they will take a photo put it up online and anyone who wants a pet can see that photo and then apply to adopt the animal and then unfortunately if there are a lot of these animals if they are injured maybe if they're dangerous you know if it's a dog that likes to bite unfortunately they'll be put down or put to sleep so they'll be euthanized they'll be given an injection and they will pass away they'll die so that happens quite a lot and that's why a lot of people in Australia will prefer to adopt animals than to um, buy purebred or you know young kittens and, and dogs from breeders because they want to give a home to a cat that will otherwise be put down or a dog that will otherwise be put down so yeah that, that's what we were thinking however the problem that we ran into is that I, at the same time simultaneously I sent an email to our real estate agents asking if they would be willing to ask permission for us to have cats in the house so what happens in Australia if you want if you're renting a house and you want to have a pet you have to get the okay you have to get the all clear you have to get the thumbs up from the real estate agent they have to say that it's okay or not and they have to get the thumbs up the okay the all clear from the landlord the person who owns the house and unfortunately I had thought that the laws had changed recently meaning that it was very difficult for landlords to say you can't have a dog or a cat that you can't have pets because renters in Australia 
are about to get that right to be able to say, you know, I have a pet, I want to move into a house. And almost all houses will always say either no pets or you need to ask permission to get pets in the house. And so a problem with that was that a lot of pets were being given up to adoption to the RSPCA or to welfare shelters because people were trying to find a house to rent where they could live and they were not allowed to have pets. So in order to stop that, you know, to stop the amount of people giving away these animals to these shelters and, you know, putting a burden on um, these animal welfare shelters, they brought through these, I think, these new laws, except that they're only coming into place in 2020, in 2020. So I sent this email through, I asked permission, they told me no, because the landlord doesn't like pets in the house. And um, I said, but I thought that it was okay, you know, like that it wasn't really up to the landlord to say yes or no anymore. And they sent back an email saying that comes into place, that comes into play in 2020. So I have to wait um, two years to be able to do that. So there you go, no pets, unfortunately, which is pretty devastating. I was really looking forward to having some, some cats. Anyway, that's the current state of affairs, guys. We are moving into this new house in about six days. Looking forward to that still, even though we can't get pets, which sucks. Just looking for somewhere that I can park down here. Um, but yeah, it's going to be fun either way because I have bought a whole heap of gear to set up the new studio for the podcast and that is going to be a lot of fun. And there's a lot of spare rooms in this place so there's going to be lots of space um, we'll be able to have friends and family over we'll be able to go to the beach a lot we'll be able to have more furniture and just more space in general so anyway yeah really 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 looking forward to this new house um, that we'll be moving into shortly anyway guys I'm gonna go and look for a park we're right down here at Swan Bay this is near Queenscliff in Victoria and I'm going to try and get some good photos of some birds. We'll see how we go. But thank you for joining me. I hope you don't mind the sort of random update with how things are going down here. But yeah, I thought I would share the details with you guys. And hopefully some of this information will prove useful in the future if you guys are looking for somewhere to rent or you're thinking about adopting cats or dogs in Australia. So anyway, guys, thanks for joining me and I will chat to you soon. See ya.